Today we will see how to create a countdown timer in Excel using VBA language. We will see how to start countdown timer, how can stop it, and how we can reset it. Interested? Let's jump in. So let me put here our timer. Let's put it 000. zero, zero. Then open our, our Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, Insert, Module, and let's start with our variable. And let's say public interval as date. We will dim it as date. And then we will start with our sub procedure. Why we dim interval? as date before our sub procedure because it will be available for all sub procedures we will write today so the first one will be start our timer and let's name it timer now let's set let's set interval our first variable let's say it will be equal start from now plus and value and it will be a string so we need to put quotation and then set our time and let's one second because we will change by one second the time and then insert and then let's say that if range let's put if range a one is equal to zero then what we will do we will stop the procedure so then exit sub and then here let me add dot value and then exit sub and then let's set the range a range a one let me change here and put it yeah will be equal range a1 the same range minus because we will count down and minus this time value and then we will start with our application so we will put application dot on time we'll use this one and then earliest time will be interval and then comma and procedure a string if we have here a string we will need to add the quotation mark and the procedure will be this the sub name the timer and that's all we finish the first sub procedure and the next sub procedure will be reset right so let's put reset we will set our range a1 will be equal and value zero zero and twenty why twenty because we will start to count from 20 seconds down if we will start from five minutes or 40 or 40 seconds or whatever all you need is to change this value so we finish with the second sub procedure and now we will move and we'll start with the last sub procedure and it will be stop and put stop timer So we'll start with application and then on time and let's set the earliest time will be equal to interval and then the next one is procedure. will be equal as string so open quotation mark and put the timer 
is our procedure this up right and then comma latest time we will skip and the next one schedule we will do it and let's say that schedule will be equal to false and that's all we finish the last procedure let me copy it and close and now we will add here three buttons and assign a macro to them so let's start we will go to developer if you do not have developer tab all you need is to go to file scroll down options customize ribbon main tabs scroll down click on developer and then okay and it will be appeared here then you go to developer insert the button and here select all related cell you need and assign a macro here we will start with start so it is timer the first hour sub procedure click on ok right click on the button edit text remove the button and let's put start select all text and go home change the format let's say 20 and bold and then again developer insert button and select this cell and let's say it will be stop timer assign a stop timer okay right click edit text remove all text and put stop then select the stop go home and change the format and bold and then again developer insert button insert the next one and the next the last one will be reset okay right click edit text remove the text and put reset then select this text go home change the format and bold and now we can start first of all we need to reset it and put the start name we have we will reset it and as you remember that we start from 20 me 20 seconds and count down but you can put it as you need and then click on start and then click on stop and then you can reset as well again start and again stop and that's all thank you for watching